Hi everyone, um, this video is a video response to the Chapter Chicks um, novel Notions and uh, I, I tended to agree with a lot of what they said and I was so excited that I I, uh, I couldn't wait to make this video so uh, here I am still sounding like uh, a dead person but hey <laughs> Um, I really wanted to make this video, so I'm going to get into it. Uh, the first thing I wanted to address what they said it was about the immaturity of um, some of the characters in YA fiction. Um, that's kind. Of, I do agree with that. For example, um, Ever from the Immortal series by Alison Noel. In the first book. I, I, I like the first book and I'm kind of sorry I gave it away but the second one I couldn't stand her she was just too she just got on my nerves to the point where I like threw the book across the room and I don't get me wrong I love my books I respect my books and I'm a little bit of I'm a little bit of freaky about keeping them like pristine and everything but that really annoyed me her character annoyed me that much um, also, oh, if I'm looking away, uh, I took some notes, so I'm just looking at my notes. It's not because, uh, uh, you know, anything. Um, also, <clears throat> I wanted to address, uh, the notion of the inner child that, uh, YA fiction helps connect inside of all of us who are, you know, have aged out of the genre. To, you know in a nice way <laughs> um it is, it is kind of true I really would rather read about um, a person going off on an adventure to fight f werewolves or to save the world from like I don't know invasion of a, a demon from another dimension or something rather than uh, um, read a book about a person who you know has like everyday problems and has a child and and bills and and some boyfriend that broke up with them I mean hey if I wanted that I can live real life <laughs> and the whole idea behind reading a book is it's it's a bit of escapism and there's not much escapism if you're like reading real like reality unless you're like a Paris Hilton type and you've got money to burn and you know, and a little dose of reality is, you know, grounds you. Uh, most of us are not pay ourselves, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, also, um, the reputation that why fiction has, I haven't had any issues about that because uh, I'm the only, like, big reader that I know. Uh, most people that I know, they don't, <clears throat> they're not, like, into reading as much as I am. I mean, they occasionally they read a book or whatever, but they're not really into YA or any kind of fiction. Um, mostly video games is, is their poison. <laughs> so I haven't had any kind of issues with people asking me um, what, I've, what, I, what kind of genre I've read and like having to explain myself or anything like that. So I, I can't relate to that. Also... <clears throat> Um, I do prefer paranormal romance over chiclet because, um, every once in a while, I mean, every once in a while I'll read a, a romancy book, but for the most part, I stay away from that because uh, it's, you know, mushy and bleh. <laughs> I'd rather, you know, read, I'd rather read a paranormal romance where there isn't that, you know, phys there isn't all the sex that comes with adult books, which is one of, the, which is also another reason why I prefer YA books, because there's not all of that sexy sexiness <laughs> in them, because, uh, and it makes the relationship seem more real and, and more grounded, if that makes sense. So I kind of tend to stick to 
uh, the paranormal end of it, you know, I'd rather hear about werewolves and vampires or whatever. Uh, she, they were also talking about stereotypes and, and different genres or whatever. And I did, I, I have to agree, I did believe romance novels were really for housewives and everything. Uh, although it's not true, it's not 100% true. But from, in my personal experience, um, when I started reading books, um, like avidly reading, not like just like, reading to learn to read and that kind of stuff. I was about nine years old and I was like reading my mother's Harlequin romance novels. And a lot of it, a lot of the stories were pretty good, were pretty good and stuff like that. You know, women running off to like exotic places and whatever, pirate ships and things like that. But you know, the heaving breasts kind of like really did my head in. <laughs> And so, uh, I, as I got older, I, I kind of stare away from that and, and it did like stick in my head like, wow, you know, this stuff is just so gushy that, you know, you'd have to be like, like, you know, romance starved to read these. Although that's not true. So please, um, anyone who, who uh, disagrees with what I've said, please don't be offended. It's not meant to be. It's just my opinion. And also uh, the science fiction books. I do, you know, I am kind of a bit of a science fiction geek. I do like Star Trek. I think I've watched like every incarnation of Star Trek, including the spin-offs. Um, and anything like um, Star Trek, you like uh, Farscape. <clears throat> it's a, a British science fiction um, show. It came, it used to come on in sci-fi. Um, I love, I love stuff like that. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm, I, I'm a nerd. I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, also just to close, I wanted to, uh, uh, address about the covers. I totally agree with Jessica. They do have, uh, YA Fiction does have like really sick covers. I mean, I, I'm a cover junkie and... I found like my mecca with all the options of covers that I can um, choose from. So yes, I agree. And in conclusion, because I've like rambled on for like seven minutes, and I don't know if anybody's gonna watch this whole video, but I'm just gonna say that I can't wait to see what else, um, what other topics that uh, bring are uh, brought up for discussion. And it would be nice to see what other people's video responses are on the subject. And um, I will see you guys in the next uh, video. And thanks for watching. Bye.